Hi, it's Chris Crocker in the 4 News Now, First Alert Weather Center. What an amazing day. Oh my goodness. I knew it was going to be nice, but gosh, not this nice. It's so pretty. Um, temperatures were only in the mid 40s, which is average, but with all that sunshine, gosh, it felt amazing. Uh, big fan, but there are big changes <laughs> coming in the weather. Here are four things to know about your weather. Light snow very early tomorrow morning, very isolated. I'll show you the computer model in just a minute. You might get a snowflake at your place. It is going to be a gray Veterans Day, and then the rain comes in late, uh, late afternoon into the evening, and then it's going to just keep on going through a rainy Friday. We have we got a good old atmospheric river coming, and that means high snow levels, 7,000 foot snow levels, and um, all rain in the valleys. Here's a look at the broad view of your forecast. Weak disturbance coming in early tomorrow morning may bring that flurry or two. Then by tomorrow evening, uh, the main event arrives. Again, this is a good old fetch of subtropical moisture uh, bringing in that precipitation uh, through most of the day on Friday. And then we mostly dry out for Saturday. Let's take a closer view on what we can expect. Here comes that weak disturbance, a flurry around Omac, a sprinkle or flurry around Post Falls and Coeur d'Alene, maybe Hayden. Seven o'clock in the morning, we're already drying out, not clearing out, because then here comes the next round of wet weather, um, and that is going to be with us right on through Friday. Overnight lows tonight will be down around freezing around the region, uh, a little below in the Northeast Mountains and the Northern Panhandle, a little above uh, in the Palouse and the LC Valley, Columbia Basin. High temperatures tomorrow will be in the ballpark of average. We'll be in the 40s, 44 in Spokane Valley, 41 in Coeur d'Alene, 40 in Sandpoint, 50 tomorrow in Lewiston. Here's a look at your planning forecast. Um, Veterans Day, most of the day is going to be dry. Um, thank you for your service, by the way. I know that many of you watching have served in the armed forces, uh, particularly the Air Force, and uh, thank you very much for your service. Friday, rainy, but 51 for a high, our average high is 44, 51 on Saturday. I think Saturday's mostly gonna be dry. Maybe some mountain showers. Sunday, a slight chance of showers, up to 53. We're talking 10 degrees above average then. Sunday and Monday, then cooler, dry weather as we get into next week, including some pretty cool overnight lows. Uh, walked out the back door to toss the ball to my dog and slipped, almost fell, caught myself. But uh, yeah, it's that time of year. Things are a little bit slippery. Why do we have to learn these things every year? At least I do. And I, we won't even get started about drivers having to relearn how to drive in the snow. We'll talk about that when we get our first snow of any import. Thanks so much for watching and uh, we'll see you back here tomorrow.